and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Lizzie. Thanks for popping by and seeing me. This is for Gemini uh, for the week of starting today, October 18th, till next Sunday, October 25th. And I'll also do your next week's readings on uh, next Sunday, October 25th. I'm having a little fun today since it's Halloween. I always call myself a unicorn, so I'm wearing a little kind of costume. I won't do this every time. I'm just having fun today. Hopefully it lightens your mood. <laughs> it's Sunday. Sunday is fun day, right guys? Alright, so since the collective is so huge, I'm doing pick a piles this week for the weekly readings per sign. And since it's Halloween, I'm doing candy themed. So for you this week, Gemini, pile one is Reese's Pieces, <laughs> ET phone home, Watch that movie if you've never seen it, young bucks out there. <laughs> and pile two is Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Are you Reese's Pieces? Pile one, pile two, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. In my personal opinion, they're both delicious, but you have to pick one. Pile one, pile two, pause it if you need more time and we'll get right into it. Hey there, Gemini pile one, you pick the Reese's Pieces. <laughs> delicious, I love E.T. I love phoning home as well. <laughs> All right, there's a lot to get to, but before I get to it, if this is resonating, please give it a like. Introduce yourself in the comments below. I'd love to get to know you. Hit the subscribe button and the notification button if you want to know when I post new stuff. All that jazz. Got to get that out of the way, right? <laughs> All right, let's get right into it. What's this week going to look for, like for you, Gemini? Surround yourself with your soul tribe. Ooh. So this is calling you to really surround yourself with people who are positive, who make you feel good, who give you good advice, who genuinely care about your personal development and personal growth and your feelings. Because I feel like this week might be tough and you're going to need some guidance and you're going to need some solid people in your life. So basically call in your soul tribe, spend time. If you have sisters, this reminds me of sisters. I have a lot of sisters, <laughs> so this always reminds me of sisters. It could be best friends. It even could be sorority sisters or frat brothers or brothers even. It doesn't have to be all female. I just love the, the artwork on this deck. I love all the braids. Can we just spend a minute looking at the hair? <laughs> anyway, surround yourself with people who feel good because you're going to need it. You're going to need to be in a good environment this week. Ooh, epic adventures. You're about to get on one wild ride, one wild and exciting ride. So rest up and brace because it will change your life forever. Ooh, so yeah, you might be spending time with your soul tribe this week because next week or the rest of the month it might be cray cray for you in a good way. So this is really calling into spend time with people because you might be a little bit busy in the near future. Let go of what wronged you or what hurt you. Let go of the anger and resentment. Swallow your pride. Let the battle axe fall. Let, let go now. You're losing your way. Okay, so this is why you, you also need your soul tribe. You've been hurt. You've gone through it. Um, you're in that the balance between anger and depression and sorrow. Like you're grieving something. I don't know if it's a person. I don't know if it's a relationship losing a job they're not specifying but you're grieving here and you're angry and there's every part of grief has anger in it whether it's a death or what have you so surrounding yourself with people who really genuinely care and know you you can one get your feelings out you could get advice on what to do they help you calm and laugh and have fun and get your mind off of things it's time to stop fighting it's time to start or stop arguing it's time to get rid of all the toxicity in this grief process let go of what was in your past it doesn't need to come with you in the future and this anger is not going to make your epic adventures very fun so like they said drop the, the battle axe this week grounding sink your roots deep connect them to the heart of the earth this is grounding yourself like when you're really angry and you just have to take a minute like kuna matata <laughs> whatever you say to yourself to make you feel better i say goose like in anger management the movie first of all that movie has 
hilarious when they're making them sing on the bridge. <laughs> if, I, if I was depressed, I mean, that would be so annoying. But watching it is hilarious. That's what you need to do. Find that Gusfaba, Akuna Matata, so you don't get angry this week. Ground yourself in calm and zen with people who will help you do that. All things work best in conjunction with all things. Equilibrium. Okay, so you've been off balance inside this anger. Okay, here's anger, here's serenity. It's been like this. Anger's up here, serenity down here. This week it's all about boing, anger down here, serenity up here. <laughs> serenity now. <laughs> Whatever you need to say. You've been so like I just heard, I just want to punch them or I just want to punch something. I don't know if it's a person or a thing, but you're so aggravated. You're so over it. You're so frustrated. You just want to scream and yell and hit things. I don't think you really would, but you know, we all have that vision. Like when somebody's like, bah, bah. I mean, I do like talking shit to you or whatever they're doing. You just, I just close my eyes and picture myself like a cartoon and like hitting them and then stars come out and it makes myself giggle. Maybe you need to do that. <laughs> or go, if you can, go to the gym and hit punching bag. You need to find a way to release this anger because you're just like, it's taking over your life. It's taking over your mind. It's taking over your reactions. Surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. So like somebody, not only are you angry, but somebody is make it an, making it a point to stir your pot and keep you angry and poke you. They want you to react. They're enjoying the fact that you've been reacting. They love that they get under your skin. So the best thing you can do is show nothing. Be a mute to the person who's triggering you the most. Don't, don't do anything. Don't say anything. If they come to you and they're being toxic to you, ignore them. Act like, like they're a ghost. <laughs> like if you saw a ghost walking in a room, most people will be quiet because they don't want to like seem crazy. I don't. I call that shit out because I'm a medium. I'm like, there's a dead girl in this room, guys. Hate to break it to you, but she's gonna move your shit around. But that's just how I roll. You don't need to roll that week. You need to be this week quiet. Don't say a word, especially when they're triggering you. I don't know why I did this. Maybe somebody's been trying to, like, when the person walks in the room, they're, like, trying to tell you to stop talking. But you keep giving in to it, and you keep yelling back, and you keep feeding the madness. Don't do that this week. This is about finding your zen. Don't go to them looking for drama. I have a feeling they're going to come looking for you for drama. But, like I said, ignore them. Like, do you hear something? Resort back to your five-year-old self if you got it. If it makes yourself laugh and <laughs> takes you out of the anger, it's like, I felt the breeze. It's, does somebody have the window open? It's so annoying to the other person, but it's hilarious to yourself. I've done that. I mean, yes, it's childish. But when you're this angry, you need to make yourself laugh. For real. <laughs> Surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. Exactly. Surrender it to spirit. Put the good intentions out there. Do the right thing and trust that they're going to take care of you up there. And that if this person continues to push your button and is just ugly and nasty, that karma, they're going to get taken care of. Let spirit kick their ass. You don't need to kick their ass out there, Gemini. All right. Community, spiritual ancestors. getting a few things for this you might have guides you might be a spiritually inclined person in some sense whether you're aware of it or not they're up there protecting you because i just feel like you i don't know if it's a person if it's like a job again they're not specifying but there's somebody just trying to shake you up and ruin your life i'm not going to sugarcoat it. they want to see you suffering they love that you're angry they love that you lash out they love that you're breaking apart over this Maybe they might be trying to paint a certain picture about you to the community and you're feeding into it. 
you're proving them right by reacting. So stop reacting. Let the community make up their own mind without having anything of yours to base it off of. If somebody comes in yelling at you and you don't say nothing and you're kind back, what do you think those people think? They think the other person's the asshole. But lately, they've been setting you up to make you look like the asshole I'm hearing. Don't play the game. Yeah, you have shame here about how... I feel like you do feel bad about how you've been acting and blowing up, especially to people who don't deserve it or around people. Like, it's embarrassing and you're ashamed that maybe you're fighting in public, that things got heated, what came out of your mouth. Like, you're ashamed. You're like, I'm not this ugly, angry person. What's happening to me? They're doing it to you. I just feel like you didn't know it until this week. Like, now you're starting to see the kettle for the true color, if you get what I'm saying. You're going to see that they're setting you up. They're going to see, you're going to see that they're trying to paint you a certain way to the community here. What a jerk. <laughs> All right, here's some warnings about what might happen this week to avoid. Ooh, we got bride in a cage. This could be a love situation. I did, I didn't want to say it earlier, but I do feel like this is like somebody in the middle of a divorce or a separation or getting out of a long-term relationship. You're just caged to this. It's like you can't get out of your anger and your feelings, especially if it's a love situation. First of all, you're Gemini's, you're the lover's card, and you're twins. <laughs> the twin sign. Yeah, you're just stuck. You're consumed. Maybe you you feel like you have to be with this person this week. You're gonna be, you're gonna feel very trapped. Trap is an illusion. Whether you're married or not, you can walk out at any time. You're just giving yourself reasons not to. Don't do that this week. Don't put your don't put yourself in a, a cage. If this relationship is toxic, if it's eating at your soul and the scent it is not for you, you need to separate. And you don't have to get divorced if that's really what you don't want, but you need some time apart to cool down at least. I even, this could be for a small few, but I even feel like you're defending, you have to defend your relationship this week to other people. Don't do it. You don't need to explain yourself to anyone out there, Gemini. You don't. You will only need to make up your own mind and follow your own spirit. Everyone else, this is, it's not their life. It's not their say. You know, if you are the one that has to defend your relationship, if you're happy in it, screw them. Maybe they're just jealous. Look at the full picture. Ah, forgetting yourself. Forgetting to balance yourself could happen this week. You could be giving back into that anger. You could be putting the work in like Monday, Tuesday, you do really well. Wednesday, you go back to old habits and you just yell and you scream and you make another scene or whatever it is you give into your anger. Angry texting I'm seeing. <laughs> no, all week you need to step back, step away. Do not feed into it. Do not play the game. Take your game piece off the board this week. All right, what else? Yes, patience. Have patience with yourself. Everything is a healing process, especially when something's ending, when you're grieving something. Anger is a natural part of it. You're not a bad person because you're angry. Every single person who faces grief, and whatever sense it is, anger is a step of that grief. Lose a job, you get angry. Lose a person, you get angry. A death? you get angry. It doesn't make any logical sense. It's just part of being a human being and we all give into it. We all get snappy. We all go out of character at times. You're not a bad person and you're not unlike anybody else. We all do this shit, especially when our heart is hurt. Have patience with yourself. It's okay. We all embarrass ourselves at some point. <laughs> Me more than most. I will admit it, I embarrass the shit out of myself a lot. Mostly because I'm klutzy and I fall. Or I walk into doors. <laughs> People clean windows very well around here. I don't know what to tell you. But, ooh, fulfillment of wishes though. Look at you. 
I feel like getting out of that relationship and getting calm at the end of the week. Like, if, like, I said that wrong. For the people that getting out of the relationship, you're going to get that inner calm and zen. Because you didn't lash out, I feel like either they're going to give up on their game playing or you're just going to win the upper hand. This even could be court stuff fulfilling of wishes of signing the papers and finally being free or for the groups that aren't married this might be like stop defending your relationship stop defending your choices to everyone and you're just going to live in the moment and be happy by the end of the week there is a fulfillment of wishes coming through for you if you stay calm if you have patience if you do the work here yeah, there's going to be friction this week. They're going to test you. The calmer you are and the more you don't react, the more they're going to test you. That's part of the game. They're, like, have you ever seen that game show where they have to put water in their mouth and make the other person laugh? They're going to continue to say funny shit until they spit the water out. It's the same thing when this person, thing, whatever's trying to make you angry, they're going to try. And, like, oh, yeah, you're zen, you're calm. Okay, I'm going to say this because I know you're going to react to it. Don't react to that friction. Don't give in to the friction. Exactly. Absence. Get some time and space. Don't go looking for trouble. Don't be around whatever it is. If you can't, if it's a job, I mean, you really don't have a choice, but keep yourself out of the drama. Step away because they're trying to shake you up. And if you do that, if you put the work in and you really check your anger and you release it, there will be a fulfillment of wishes at the end of it, even if it's just feeling so much better and having the weight off your shoulders and like, ugh, I'm so over this, I'm at peace, this is great. That's still a fulfillment of wishes. Hang in there, Gemini, don't give in to the anger, you can do this. You can master the game, you can be Mr. Miyagi, okay? Wax on, wax out, <laughs> whatever you need to picture to stay calm, you do it, you can do this. I have faith in you. Give this a like if you liked it. Subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on. I will see you next week. Stay calm out there. Zen, Akuna Matata, Goose Faba. I'm telling you, it works. <laughs> Love and light. <laughs> hey there, Pile 2 Gemini. You picked the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Delicious. My nephew's going away party cake was a giant ice cream Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Delicious. <laughs> All right, let's get right into your reading because there's a lot for you. Ooh, breathe in bliss, <laughs> exhale bullshit. <laughs> oh no, you're a lot like pile one. Like somebody's trying to stir your pot this week and take you off kilter here. Take your inner zen. Look at all your chakras lined up in zen. Like you are, you've been doing really well, and I feel like your glow up is pissing somebody off. And they're just going to try to come in and give you a bunch of bullshit to knock you off your shine. They don't like that you're doing well. They're going to test you. Also, this is retrograde season. Spirit might be testing you as well. There is no certainty in life. Follow your gut. Use your head and take it day by day. This is about your intuition going off. I feel like you know who this person thing. It even could be co-workers. It could be family. It could be friends exes what have you you can feel the haterade coming in your direction you can feel it use that intuition and know they're just trying to stir you up nothing is certain in life you can you can go off your zen and lose that shine by giving in to people's bullshit so the only way to be certain is to control yourself which is staying grounded and controlling controlling your reactions Ooh, come clean Perhaps you're not being honest to yourself or others. Face the truth and free your mind so you can focus. <laughs> this could be... You've been wanting to call people out for that haterade for a while. Like, what is your problem? Like, I'm just getting those vibes. Like, why are you such a jerk? What is your problem? What did I do to you? That could be coming clean. Getting those feelings out. Opening that dialogue either it makes peace or it could kick it up by getting it out of your body it's not threatening your zen anymore what else we got ooh foundation 
Foundation is what the castle of your soul is built on. Someone's going to try to shake that foundation. Keep it solid this week, Gemini. Keep it solid. They're going to do whatever they can to knock you off your path. I feel like this is work-related because I'm seeing, like, somebody giving a pitch, like a pitch meeting. And I feel like somebody who also in your office does stuff like pitches it's going to try to one-up you like you're killing it at work and they don't fucking like it at all or this is a family member that's jealous something like that somebody's jealous and just wants to wants to see you fall and wants to do better than you at something and they'll go low to do better shine you are made of stardust so keep sparkling exactly you are shining bright you are glowing up Keep that glow up. Keep that self-love. Be the better person. Be the bigger person. And just keep doing you. Because I, fig I feel if you just tune this person out altogether and you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to be okay. But this person is going to make it hard to do that. They're going to be annoying. They're going to be rude. They're going to try to F you up in any way they can because they're jealous. Surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that came from just being you. I feel like they weird. Why can't I speak? Someone's going to try to choke you up. Or try to interject when you're speaking. I'm <laughs> getting I feel like they worded that weird. But anyway, you are a little manifester. You have a power. You have a gift. You could even be a light worker here. You're basically out here doing good. Whatever job you do, you're shining bright. You're, you're coming off well. You're leading by example. You're, you have that radiating energy that people are pulled to. And this person doesn't like it. They're going to try to take it from you. They want the reaction you get. But they're not going to get that reaction because they're not going about things in the right way. They're not giving off light. They're giving off darkness here. So stay in your power and your light zone and totally tune this thing person out. I really feel like it's work related to be honest or family or both. Maybe you are family that work together even. Surrender the habit of people pleasing. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. I feel like you're working too much. Very tired vibes. As much as you're glowing up and doing really well, I feel like there are at times that you just need to just go off and be by yourself with your own family, your own friends. You need to speak up that you need more you time. That's basically what I'm finding. You're working very hard. You're nailing it at work. You're doing well, but you're tired. And that could threaten to take away your zen as well. So stop trying to be a people pleaser and please yourself this week maybe some the person that's jealous could even be like a boss and is trying to fill up your schedule it could be anything like that or you just I think you've always been a people pleaser of some sense you always wanted people to be happy for what you're doing and applaud you but I think you need to turn that back on yourself to protect your zen this week. What do you need to protect your zen? Say it and do that. If you need a day off, take it. Because I feel like someone, like I said, is going to be stirring your pot. Partnerships and love. Yes, this has to do with partnerships and love. I'm really getting a family member that you work with. Like... You're trying to put the family together. You're trying to do good for the family or the business, which have you. But somebody's like standing outside the circle that's supposed to be in the circle holding hands and working together, but they're in a very dark place. See the star over here? Like you're shining bright like the star and everybody's holding hands and like, yay, look at you, you're doing well. And this person isn't getting any praise, so they're very jealous. I don't know why I heard love partners like there's competition like siblings and who you're married to there's competition here you're trying to one-up each other 
or you're trying to please them so they come back into the family. Don't do that. I don't know if it's, I don't think you are so much trying to one-up them. I feel like they are trying to one-up you, trying to steal your thunder here. Maybe you and your spouse or your significant other work together and are able to work well together and also have a good home life and they're trying to work with their partner and it's just not, not a good time and they're like, that's just another thing they have above me. You know, they're very annoyed with that. But you need to focus on your own partnership and your own love situation and let that person just figure their shit out. You will have a victory as long as you stay in the good place. Don't wish anyone ill will. Don't be angry at anyone. Recognize that they're in a slump. And this isn't really genuinely who they are. They're just going through a hard time and they're projecting their shit out on you. So just take it as that and just focus on yourself and realize they got to do their own healing work. They're going to figure their shit out in their own time. All you can do is continue to glow up and keep your zen. You will be victorious if you don't, if you just completely phase this one out. Here's some warnings about some stuff that might go down this week. Ooh, naked before the stars. I feel like whoever's in a rivalry with you is going to try to tell some intimate stuff, maybe embarrassing stuff about you to shake you up. Um, I don't know if it's going to be like on a grand scale or just within the family, but their MO is to embarrass you and to make you feel like shit. So they're going to try to strip you of that light. Don't let them. Don't feed into it. Whatever. If they're going to bump their gums, you don't have to react to it. You don't have to respond to it. That's what they want. Don't do that. I feel like don't be vulnerable with this person either because they're just going to use it against you. Ugh, this person makes you very angry. And you feel chained to them because, like I said, you're either in business with them or in family. Don't let that anger win this week. They want that reaction. They want that angry lash out. Don't give it to them. That's the biggest warning they're giving to you. Don't give them that reaction. Yeah, you got emotional withdrawal here. This is a very draining situation because it's work, because it's family. You don't want to be in conflict with this person. You really don't. You, you're working hard on your glow up here, on your inner zen. You're doing very well on your journey. But you, I feel like you do recognize that this person is in a bad place and they're hurting. You also feel bad about that. I feel like you don't, you can't tell the truth. Either to your family or other co-workers or even to the person that's going through the hard time. This is you protecting your zen and stepping away from it this week. Don't feed into anything. And if you're like to the point where you're emotionally drained and it's taking your zen, step back. Doesn't matter. Everything else will work itself out, but your zenness won't work itself out. You need to work it out. So pull back from anything toxic this week, especially that person. You've made a lot of sacrifices and you're going to have to continue to make sacrifices. But we got the rainbow here. It's a good omen. Even if, because it's family or work, even if you have to sacrifice that relationship to continue on a good path for now, I would do that. But this is talking about sacrificing your pride. Give up your pride and realize that person is low vibes and a bad place. They're, they're not liking themselves in here, so they're projecting it. They're not happy with their lives, so they're projecting it. Sacrifice your own anger and your own pride and don't feed into it. Just don't feed into it at all. Give it some space. Give that person time to figure their shit out, but also put space in so they can't affect you so much. Don't allow them into your protective zen bubble, I call it. Have consistency. Keep working, keep doing what you've been doing. Stay positive. Be a positive person. Be a role model. Shine up. Glow up in the way you've been doing. Self-love. Focus on your family. Focus on your work. Have consistency in everything you do. And this person isn't going to have a chance in hell. That's their best advice. To you.
I hope this was helpful, Kyle, too. Do not feed into this person at all. Ignore them and protect your zen, even if it's stepping back and withdrawing from everybody this week. If that's what you got to do to keep your peace, do it. I'm telling you, this one's going to throw some grenades at you this week. For sure, do not react. Just have a bomb shield up like I didn't feel nothing. No heat wave over here. I'm all zen and cool. Don't let them in. Not mentally, not in here, not in your space. They need to deal with their own shit. It will work itself out one day, but not this week. Do not feed into it. Don't give into the anger. Do not lash out. That's what they want. The last thing I'm going to leave it with, please give this a like, hit the subscribe button, talk to me in the comments what's going on, what advice do you need for next week, anything. Introduce yourself. I love the chat. I hope you all have a good week despite all of this drama. And remember, you're glowing up and you're doing well, so just keep doing you. You got this. See you next Sunday, October 25th, for the next week reading. Hang in there. You got this. You can do it. I'll send you some happy little pop bubbly vibes. Hopefully, it replaces their darkness. Here's to hoping. <laughs> Love you all. Bye.